you guys did a ton of your own stunts in this movie, and I was wondering if you like crazy, you almost hurt yourself doing any of them or any cool sort. And Mila, can you say multi blast please? <laughs> and it has to be so well choreographed and so well timed so that we make it as safe as possible because obviously every movie we are raising the bar with the stunts and the quality of the stunts and of course, you know, every time we go into it we've had the training from the last movie so we're always raising the level but of course you need to make sure that safety is number one. Saying that, I mean, you see what's up there, you can't do that without getting hurt, you know, but Touchwood, like Paul said, nothing, you know, no broken bones or anything. Just uh, really, really, really sore the next morning. And lots of bruising that has to be covered. <laughs> One of the interesting things about 3D. Actually, howdy, I you sprained your finger. I got a little too into one of the scenes. <laughs> and yeah. That was, a, that was a disaster. She was the doctor. Yeah. I mean, has for the job. One of the interesting things about 3D is that uh, the, you know, the traditional way to block fights is uh, you know, one actor moves their fist in front of another actor's face and the second actor reacts as though they've been hit and you line the camera up correctly and you know, that person's fist comes within six inches of the other person's face. It's all fake. In 3D, because you have such a greater sense of depth, that doesn't work anymore. So it means you have to block uh, fight scenes where people really get hit which means there's a lot of really physicality that goes into the fights and the fights become a lot tougher in 3D. So like Mila said, uh, um, the girls and boys were going home with a lot more bruises every day. What's your